We're now going to have a look at sterilisation. And there are two principal areas that we need to focus on for sterilisation. Firstly, the media, because there are a number of different ways in the mixing that we could have introduced bacteria into the media. And also the Petri dishes. In some circumstances, you may be lucky enough to have access to a laboratory autoclave. But in most field circumstances, you're going to be using a steam steriliser or a pressure cooker and a heat source. The important thing with sterilising is that the plastic bottles themselves, most importantly, don't come in touch with the water. They come into contact with the water because they'll melt. In order to prevent that, we open our steam steriliser. You notice inside there's a load tray and there are a couple of cradles, supports. We place those in the bottom of the steam steriliser put sufficient volume of water to cover the bottom of the steam steriliser but not to cover the top of the support. We replace the load tray on top of the supports and then carefully Ensuring that the lids are loose so the bottles don't explode, place them into the load tray. Ensuring that there's sufficient space for them not to be touching. Again, it doesn't matter what type of steriliser you're using, there is going to be a way to lock the top to the body of the main vessel. Always read the manufacturer's instructions and they'll point you in the right direction. And then place the pressure cooker onto the heat source. I'm going to allow it to come up to temperature for about five minutes or so until it gives its first burst of steam. And then I'm going to keep it on full power for another 15 minutes. Having finished the sterilization run, do not open the lid until the uh, steam steriliser is sufficiently cool enough to be able to comfortably touch. Take my petri dishes out. They can either go straight back into the incubation chamber if they are going back out into the field or if you are storing them for later use, a good idea is to place them into a clean, dry, sterile plastic bag to prevent them getting covered with dust. Allow your sterilised media to cool completely down before you then subsequently tighten the lids and place them into the fridge or a suitable cold storage container.